a strong family, you have to have strong values. And to be a great coach, you have to surround yourself with good people and phenomenal players. And sometimes you're just born into both. In 28 days. Oh, it was a pleasant surprise. After 34 years of coaching. It kind of shocked me, you know, because, you know, I'm still actively coaching and mm -hmm. I'm not that old, am I? Cabot head coach Mike Malham will be inducted into the Arkansas Hall of Fame, just like his dad and coach, whose name is also Mike, who was inducted back in 1999. Do you think he's like you? <laughs> well, I, I hope he was a little like me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as mean as he was. Malham is the third winningest coach in Arkansas high school history with 274 wins, but his career as a player is what initially put him on the map. He's the fourth leading tackler at ASU and was a two-time All-Southland linebacker. His team in 1975 brings back his fondest memories. That, by the way, is the last undefeated Division I team that ever came out of the state of Arkansas. Oh. His father was even more proud of that 1975 ASU team as he was guiding them to success on the sidelines as the linebackers coach. Were you tougher on him because he's your son? <laughs> Very much so. Before the Malhams, the father-son coaching relationship dates back to high school where Mike's dad coached him as well at Catholic. You're just around it all your life. You Obviously, you pick up some things. Coach Malham still has an old-fashioned style. We work our kids as hard as we can we feel like if anybody's out there out working us we want to know about it so we'll step it up there's no question coaching is in the Malham's blood his son Matt was part of one of his favorite memories at Cabot it's the two state championship teams you know in 2000 when my son played Matt played on that team he was a senior that year that was great and it's only natural that Matt is now a member of the Cabot coaching staff quick quick let's go as for Coach Malham's dad, he still watches from the sidelines as his biggest fan. I sweat his games, I believe, harder than I sweat my games. Yeah. <laughs> and for Coach, he's turning 62 this year. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of pressure on me now. That <laughs> <laughs> but when you come from a family of winners... As long as his health is good, uh -huh. and as long as he enjoys it. It's hard to throw in the towel. If I'm not doing this, I'm not really sure what I'd be doing. Coach Malham will be inducted into the Hall of Fame February 27th at the State House Convention Center.